Large image files are one of the quickest ways to slow down your WordPress site and lose visitors along the way. In this video, I'm going to show you a free plugin that converts your images to modern formats and compresses them directly on your server. It makes your site load a whole lot faster without any complicated setup needed. So if you're interested, then let's jump right in. The plugin I'm going to use in this video is called Compress X, the one you see on the screen right now. It's a totally free plugin, which allows you to easily convert your JPEG and PNG images to modern web formats. What is even more awesome is that all the conversion is performed locally on the web server and not anywhere else. Currently, this plugin has 10,000 active installations and as you see, only five star reviews. It's an awesome plugin. So let's go and install it. Go to the plugins, add new and let's search for Compress X. This one here, install and activate it. All right, let's take a look at the settings and see what Compress X has to offer. The plugin is lightweight, simple and does all the work locally, which means you don't need any need to external services. And now you'll see the Compress X menu down below here. Let's go to the settings. And first, if you would like to convert all the new uploaded images, then activate this option here. Next, select your library to process images. If you open up the tooltip, you'll see the explanation here. Whether it's GD or Imagic, if you don't know whether your server supports one or another, then click on this check environment link here, and you'll see that for Maya hosting, the extension has been properly installed, but Imagic extension is not installed or enabled. So for me, the GD library will work. Next, select output formats, whether it's WebP or AVIF, just select one or another or both. I'm going to select only WebP. If you would like to watermark your images, then it's a pro add-on. If you open up the link, you'll see that the pricing for one domain is $49 and for up to 10 domains is $199. These are the lifetime plans. But we're going to use a free version. So next, I'm going to select the compression level, whether it's lossless, lossy or custom, a bit better normal. Next, browser compatibility, whether to use rewrite rule or picture tag. The explanation is on the right. Just read it through and you'll get the overview which one to choose. If you would not like to convert PNG images, then select one of those options here. But once again, read the explanation. For example, it says, if your image library is ImageMagic 6, then PNG images may lose transparent background. But if you use higher image magic version, like version 7, then there is no issue with it. Next one, if you would like to remove EXIF data, select this option here. If you scroll down, you'll see that there are parameters of processing images. By default, five images are processed per AJAX request. If you use cheap web hosting, then select a lower number here. But once again, read the explanation on the right. Let's scroll down and you'll see that there is an option for automatic removal of files in output formats larger than the original ones. So if it's selected, then files that are larger than you have set here, these images will be deleted. If you would like to authorize large images, then activate this option here, set uh, width and height also here. Next one, you can remove header always set cache control private from HD access file. But as you see, it says you can try to check this option if the site cannot be cached by Cloudflare. Let's scroll down and open up this more link here. Now I'm going to deselect some image sizes here because some teams may generate new thumbnail sizes sometimes. And I don't want to resize all of those here. So to make the conversion process shorter, I'm going to deselect some of those here. Next one, I can exclude folders from conversion, for example. I'm going to add those two here, but I can also delete them later. And the last one is custom folders. If I would like to bulk process these two folders, then I'm going to add them here. Click on bulk process now and the images will be processed. But for now, I'm going to remove those here. And down below, there is an option to delete images generated by Compress X. So if something goes wrong, and you would like to delete all the WebP or AVIF images, then just enter delete here, press go and done. 
Now, a couple of other things. Okay, let's take a look at that CDN integration. If you're using Cloudflare, then add your email, global API key, and zone ID here. Save changes, and you will be integrated to Cloudflare. Under the logs, you'll see also task logs. As you see, I have one. I can take a look at the details, download it, or delete the log. Now let's run the plugin and see if the image compression actually works and uh, whether it makes any difference. I'll check the site speed before and after to find out how well it works. But before I do that, I have a favor to ask. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. So let's go back to the settings. And before I start the bulk processing, I'm going to go to the media library. As you see, there is a button added by CompressX. I can convert the images one by one if needed. But I'm going to do all the heavy lifting in one bulk processing task. So I'm going to click here. And based on your site size, it may take a bit time. For example, for my site, it found 389 images. So it's going to go and convert all those images it found. Down below here, you'll see that currently 7% of images have been converted. Now the processing has been completed. For my site, it took approximately five minutes. So here are the results. Now when I go to the media library, you'll see it displays the original size, WebP file size. And if you have activated a web conversion, then this size. It also displays the saved amount in percentage. So Original image was 334 kilobytes, now it's 141 and 95 kilobytes. What else did I do? I added a demo site to the gallery. It contains 24 images and these were the unoptimized images. I measured the website speed before the conversion. And as you see, it says the load time is 2.9 seconds and page size is 7.2 gigabytes. Now I'm going to open up the same tool at the URL, select the same server, start testing. And as you see, now the page size is 3.4 megabytes. Previously it was 7.2. Load time was 2.9 seconds. Now it's 1.32 seconds. And all I needed to accomplish all this was I needed to install this free plugin called Compress X. Awesome, isn't it? Okay, as you saw, Compress X is a super simple way to shrink image sizes and boost your WordPress site speed without needing any tools or subscriptions. It's free, it works fast, and it does exactly what you need. Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.